What's going on guys? It's your boy Ma, as I am chemical founder and CEO. And today we're here to make some candles. And I got some jars that I think you guys will love. These are the iridescent uh, aura jars from Macy. I love Macy's products, I use them constantly. And we have two new scents that I wanna try. I wanna try bamboo and teak wood, boom. And I wanna try mahogany and coconut, boom. But we also got some classics, Love Spell and Cocoa Butter Cashmere, which everybody loves. I'm gonna do those today too. So. I can't wait to get into it. If you see my background, I'm in a different location today, so just don't mind the mess. And uh, let's get into it, all right? So, so first thing first, what I always like to do is I always, you always make sure you clean your jars and stuff down. So what I do, this is this is like an sanitizer. You can use like an alcohol-based solution. And that way it's easy to, you know, go in there and just wipe out some of the dirt, some of the dust that's in there. Uh, Cause you don't want that to get into your candle wax. So that's what we're gonna do. This side note, when you clean your jars, just go ahead and make sure everything else is clean. So like I'm cleaning my spoon, my knife, you know, my scale. That way you don't have any leftover scent, any leftover residue from the wax. And it just makes it more efficient. So once you get going, you can kind of just go and then you can clean up the rest of that stuff on the way, all right? All right guys, so now what we're gonna do, we cleaned all our supplies and everything. So now we gotta measure out our wax. I had some leftover wax right here. Once again, this is cocoa, apricot wax, I you see that. Coconut apricot wax from Macy's. Uh, we're doing 12 jars of, let's just start with the cocoa butter cabinet. So we'll do 12 jars of that, so now that means, and all you really need is you can download a candle calculator anywhere online. So you just download that and it'll tell you, okay, I got 12 jars and then 12 ounce jars and I want 12% wax fragrance load, which is the max fragrance load that you can use. And with that, I just know, okay, it's gonna give me eight by eight pounds wax and I just got to cut up eight pounds of wax. So that's what I'm about to cut up. We got our eight pounds of wax. Now we're gonna do, we're gonna get ready to put it in this here warmer. So all we need to do now is plug up our wax warmer. And this says on my box, specifically if you order from Macy, it has the pour point and the melt point on here. So all I need to do is put it to whatever degree it is. So the melt point on here is 129 and the pour point is 180, 190. So I'm really gonna pour it at like, I'm really gonna put it up to 180, 190. And I'm just let the wax melt. And then once the wax melts, then we'll add in the sink, all right? All right, so while this wax is over here melting, top on that now. That's melting. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and wick our jars. I kind of clean up, because I like, I like to personally clean up as I go along. So all I do now is I have, Wicking tools, just count them out. All right, that looks like my life. And we get this, we start the sticking process. All right, so the sin is almost done. I mean, the wax is almost done. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna measure our scent. So like I said before, you just need a candy calculator. You can find that on any app store. That's 
that's where I got mine from, I have uh, an Apple store. And so it said I need about 15 point, a little less than 15 and a half ounces. So not 16 ounces, because you wanna do a 10% per ounce. And if I'm doing 12 ounce jars, um, which is gonna equal almost to my eight ounces, uh, eight pounds of wax with, uh, never mind. I'm just gonna skip the math for you guys. Don't, don't even worry, because I'm confused myself. But I know that it works, <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna measure all that wax. Like I said, um, about 15 and a half, a little less than 16 ounces, which is two cups. So here I am gonna pour it. So that's a little less than 16. Um, so now what we gotta do is we just put it in here and we just stir it and turn it down so I don't wanna I like to turn it down a little bit because I don't want to, it'll be too high, you burn out all your, all your scent. So when I'm stirring, I'll just turn it back down a little bit to the, to the pouring point. So you, you pour it maybe, I mean, you stir maybe about three, five minutes. So I make sure I don't have my, I might have turned it up high to melt my wax, but I don't want to burn out my scent. I don't want to melt my scent. So just make sure, you know, kind of turn it down a little bit so that way you can get all the scent in the wax and not in the air. Because then I'll just burn the wax in the scent. And nobody wants that. Alright. So now we just stir for a couple minutes and we start the pouring process. I got these, I, I pretty much wick these jars. So I got these wick centering things. I don't really know how I feel about them though because to me it doesn't really, like this is how it is. It doesn't really hold anything in place, which I mean it's paper, so I didn't really expect it to. But I, like you know, I can kind of, unless I'm not using it right, but it's like I kind of sit them on the wick, but the wick can go wherever, you know, wherever it wants to go. So it's not really centering it. Um, so I guess we'll just see. I didn't spend but maybe like a few bucks on like 10, no, I spent 20 bucks on this one. So I, I really don't know, uh, I might need to get some real wick centering tools cause I don't know. And then maybe cause it's a wooden wick, it might not work. So I don't know, but we're gonna, we finished wicking these. We're still waiting on our scent to melt. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pretty much set up for the next set of candles. So that way once those are done and the scent is in, we can pour them and then we can start on our next batch. All right, cool. All right, so now the scent is melted. I mean, the wax is melted, the scent is in here. So we're just pouring. I recommend using a mask. I probably should stop the hell in each one, but I don't have one. But the door is open, so. Just pour it. Let it go. So let me show you guys this real quick. So I finished pouring these out, like they're all setting. But this one, if you look real close at this one, this one's really low, right? So I measured out the wax. You guys seen me measure out the wax. I had the appropriate, but I think um, in a couple of them I did put too much because I thought I had more wax than what I needed. And it turns out now I have less. So that just goes to show you that we make mistakes. It happens. Um, you just kind of adapt and you just keep moving. So obviously I can't put this one out. That's fine, I'll keep it for myself. That's all we got for the day, man. So I appreciate you guys. We got some good work done in. Now it's time to clean up. Let them say I ain't go home. <laughs> all right, y'all. It's your boy, Ma. See you on final. As I am Candle Co.